So with the recent events of Black and Goku in Dragon Ball Super Episode 50, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball discussion. I'm joined here today by Comic Book Fan 1992 as we share our thoughts as uh, as to pertains to what happened between Goku and Black. Now, you guys already know, you know how I feel about the situation. You guys already know how I feel about the whole Black uh, you know, hiding his identity and hiding his power. So I wanted to get someone else's perspective here. Now, uh, Mr. Edgar, Comic Book Fan, I wanted to ask you um, two things. My first question is, what did you think about the Goku versus Black fight? And my second question to you is, with all with all honesty, no biasism, who do you think Black is? And if you have like a really wild theory, I mean, just lay it on me. But I really want to know from like your point because there have been many people out there talking about who he might be. So my first question: What, what did you think about the fight? And my second question is: Who do you think Black is? Well, for honestly, I think honestly it's that fucking Kaioshin that we all saw. The Green and, Kai in the opening? No, yeah, the Green Kai. That that fuck. I mean, that guy has to be him because, uh, personally, it would be the logical sense. It would be the most make like okay, I could see that why that would have to be the case, and it's just honestly it makes all sense because why would he wants to basically go in the Omni King or mentions the Omni King so much? And honestly, I feel like personally, Black Goku was only toying with Goku. Okay, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. He was only toying with him. Granted, he did a couple of superhero type shit fighting him, but uh, I honestly feel that he's learning to become a Super Saiyan. There's... I agree. I agree. Because especially with uh, what happened when he went back into the future, I mean, he was in pain, but he kind of like embraced it. He was like, "All right, he, well." He I... knew. He knew like. Honestly, I, I think he must have, like, had studied the Saiyan race so much because he honestly had – he honestly got the tone, or at least to me, he knew the Saiyans every time they get defeated in battle, they become much more stronger, and he embraced that in him. Okay. So I honestly feel that he's going to transform into a Super Saiyan eventually. Yeah, I Maybe agree because, like, he, he was kind of like, oh – so this is the powers of a Super Saiyan. He was kind of surprised, but yet he still embraced that, as you just said. So I honestly feel that he's going to fucking do, fight uh, Goku again, but it's going to go ugly the next oh, time. Oh, yeah, it's going to be ugly because... But here's the thing, right? So you're saying that you enjoy the fight, and you're also saying that Zamasu is going to be ultimately what's behind Black. Okay, so um, going back to what you said in the beginning about the Kai Zamasu being him... What what gives you that that vibe that it's him? Because honestly, I'm I'm not gonna disagree with you. I I really want it to be him because it it'll be something different in a way. But I want to know from your personal standpoint, what makes you believe that this is in fact a Kaioshin that's taking control of this person, or maybe perhaps shape shifting into using Goku's body and stuff? Because although we don't really know and we can't really say for sure, All like right, oh yeah, that. it's definitely sorry, the Green Kai. But All right, uh, hold on, so, sorry about that, guys. Uh, had to go do something. But you were saying. Alex? I was saying, like, like, what are your thoughts on, like, why do you think it has to be this green god Zamasu? Like, what makes you think that, personally, it's him that's either controlling Goku or is Goku? Like, what makes you believe that Zamasu is black? Well, honestly, it just makes all sense. Why would he, he the body shape, the way he acts, the way he talks? Yeah, but we don't, we don't know how Zamasu talks or the way he acts either. No, 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 you're missing the point. The way he acts, he doesn't act like a Saiyan. He's oh, not. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. He, he he. That's why I'm saying it has to be him. It has to be him. If it's not him, then he must be a fucking um, experiment. Experiments. <laughs> and they're honestly like I'm just gonna mention Zycor for example. Zycor was goddamn an experiment. I no no no. Zycor was not an experiment. Zycor was uh per, like he was he was. Uh, d designed by by um by Again, intelligence because because the uh the the Southern Supreme Kai wanted to have a baby but she knew that Goku wasn't going to conceive uh you know just consciously yeah, yeah, so she yeah, she but, had to subdue him in his really? unconscious state so she had, she, oh. had, she planned to have that kid the whole time but that that's a completely different story well at least well at least they've got the vibe from me I don't know but but, but okay, what about I, the earrings because Zamasu has um orange like the earrings. earrings Rin told me and I'm gonna say this to uh. To you and the rest of everyone, Ren told me that he that earring probably is gonna is probably half his power. Okay. And he doesn't have the other earring. Um, it must be some kind of life life force 
with something, what probably helping him get more stronger. But honestly, I think eventually he'll grow so much powerful that he's going to take that earring off. And he's like, I don't need this anymore because it probably gave him more strength. It's a weird concept, but I don't know. Oh, it's just a fucking fan theory. But it's just, I honestly feel like he ain't going to fuse. It's just, he's just showing what he truly is. So he's not going to fuse at all? No. Okay. No, I don't all think right. he is. If he fuse. It would be cool, but it's just like, uh, it's just it. It will make it more like, okay, what's what are you gonna do? Have another fusion, fight another fusion. Granted, it would be awesome to see that, but it's just like, I rather see Trunks go so, on solo fighters, right? Yeah, solo fighters, or have a fusion defeat him. But and I mean Gogeta, not Vegito. But if it the Vegito, then fine, whoever. But I honestly feel like. It's going to be a big fight. Like, I honestly see Gohan involved. More oh, no. Like, I don't, I, I'm sorry. I don't see him involved. Dude, dude, dude. Let me explain. Like, the reason... Dude, when I'm right, which I'm almost right in almost everything in the saga, literally calling out every single freaking one, and it, it just like, I'm never wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm going to keep going with it. I think Gohan's going to fight in the saga. I yeah, honestly think... Get destroyed. Yeah, probably, but he'll probably be at the same level that, that he was in the Boo saga. Or the Cell Saga. But I honestly think that he's going to fight Black Goku with Trunks, with Go- with his uh, his uh, father and Vegeta. And they're going to have a big brawl on him because I think, honestly, it's going to be hell. Like, this guy is only just in his stages of his power. But that's the he thing, don't... though. You're saying that um, you're saying that he, they're going to jump him. They've never, ever jumped anybody in Dragon Ball, aside from Broly, and that's not in canon. So yeah, I, I, I don't see them, like, jumping him at all. I could you... definitely I could definitely see everybody, like, trying to take turns, but a- as Vegeta said, when, when Trunks was going to fight him, he was like, don't. Like, he's he's too strong. Like, let us do it. He, he even told Trunks, like, in a, during the subbed version, he said, listen... Like, he, he wasn't even worried, because when Trunks was like, oh, yeah, he's getting stronger, but he's just like, well, there's nothing to worry about, because Goku has a hidden power, just like me. We, we both have god power. He didn't say god powers, but he's pretty much said, you know, that wasn't Kakarot's full power. We do have other abilities and stuff, so um, I think it'll just be them two. I can't see Trunks fighting him, because Trunks has already hit his limit, so Trunks is going to stay back, just in case, like, something happens to Goku and Vegeta. Um, uh, I, I think that you're right about Black's power. I think that his power is really hidden. Um... He he's a he reminds me of like a psych like a psychotic fucking character from like Batman. He reminds me of like the, of, of like the Joker because he, he remi- you, you don't you want to know what he reminds me of? This guy like he reminds me of villains like the likes of Thanos and Darkseid. Power. This is just what I think of 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 a, a villain should be. Like I think honestly like this is your big villain, and I honestly feel like if he, ex, ex, what's that word? If he challenged his energy to a point, he's gonna achieve his godlike state. I feel like he's gonna fight Goku in Super Saiyan Blue when he's already at Super Saiyan, and he's gonna learn the Super Saiyan God form, and then he'll achieve it on his own. All right, see, see that I can see happening. I can see Black losing and then losing again and then losing again. But th- like, I-, I think that even if he loses, he's still winning because he's kind of baiting Goku in. Because m- remember when he became a Super Saiyan two, Black is like, "All right, come on, show me your true power." Because Black was actually picking up exactly what Goku was doing, and that's why Goku didn't really use all of his powers. He yeah, yeah, I know. But I, I honestly think he was like trying to get, like trying to, ha- trying to basically, he's like, come on, release your power. Release oh, yeah, he, he was, he was baiting him, and you can clearly yeah. see that. Now, for the fans out there that were like, oh shit, he was clinging on to his heart. That 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 that's the Goku that died. No, I mean, you have to, you have to keep in mind it could that be. throughout, it could. no, 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 throughout that entire fight, pay attention very carefully because I saw this fight four times today. Goku. Okay. Like, every single time Goku, like, hit him really good, it was all throughout, like, his chest area. He kicked him in the chest. He punched him in the chest. He kneed him in the chest. Goku really messed his, this guy's fucking chest up. So, that's why he Probably kept kicking him in the ribs. stomach and stuff. Go back and watch the fight, guys. Goku nailed some really stiff-ass shots towards, like, his chest area. So, obviously, he's hurt. Um, I don't think that he's, like, damaged because I think he's just probably like, gonna, gonna bait them back into fighting and whatnot. Um, but leave your thoughts down below, guys, on your overall thoughts as to who Black is and, uh, like, how, how far do you think his powers extend to? 
if you guys agree with comic book fan let me know down below if you guys agree with me uh let me know down below guys once again thank you all for watching tune in for the next video and we'll be seeing you all later take it easy guys peace